Hi, everyone. We're happy to have you with us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. A lot of focus on the guard matchup tonight, Greg. Both these teams rely on their backcourts to lead the way for them. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. I respect how hard Davis works to involve his team. Doesn't want this game to be a one-man show. And that one, good. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. Getting the ball inside early. Outside, Russell. And Davis wide open. He shoots. Offline with the baseline jumper. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Well, look, here's what the Clippers head coach had to say earlier. He told me defensively they want to change ends quickly to prevent runouts. And then offensively, they have to take care of the ball and take good shots. He said it will take a focused effort on our part to control the tempo of this game. Kevin? Thank you, David. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact look just with ease, just with authority. And the versatility AD offers is what makes him such a valuable player. Offensively, he's a real handful given the array of moves and shots he has in his bag. But he's also outstanding defensively, too, able to guard multiple positions. And so the ball's out of bounds. Vanderbilt touched it last. Los Angeles ball. Morris, left side. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. A versatile, talented defender. LeBron excels at using his athleticism and length to block so many shots. Outside, Russell. Pass to James. To the inside. Davis. And finished off by Davis. Now look, I can't think of a better partner to have a pick and roll with than Davis. Sets hard screens and has soft hands to match. Inside. And finished off by Davis. And, and he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davis inside. But he still powers through it. Lakers lead by six. Down low. And finished off by Davis. Reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent, but some guys are well past their prime. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Stolen by Zubox. Kicks it out to Leonard. Back to Morris. Outside Leonard. That shot, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. Davis with it. Westbrook picks him up. And it's slammed in by Davis. <laughs> Does anybody else think it's just too easy for AD sometimes? Just an easy board and put back. Back to George. From past the arc. And the Clippers miss again. And what do you think GA is the next step for this Lakers team? And coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here.
Group substitution here for the Lakers. Clippers trail by 12. Pass to George to end the run. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. A three from Leonard. And they get it back over James. And too long on the shot. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Here's Schroeder. His three-pointers off the mark. Pass to Westbrook. Good D by LeBron. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. And James throws it down. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. It also allows them to play inside out, which will make them even more difficult to defend. And in college, Leonard was a 25% shooter from three. Boy, how times have changed. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Lakers shooting their first free throw this game. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. Malik Beasley shooting one. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Lakers lead by 13. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Heading to the north, a Laker girl. Let's make some noise. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Now here's Westbrook. No points in the game yet for him. Shoots. And Leonard gets it to go. A true go-to option on offense. Leonard knows this team depends on him to take and make those big shots. Here's Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. That one is no good. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy, but Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury, so you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And he continues to cast away, but the results just haven't been there tonight. Pass to Davis. Out to Russell. Back to Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Uh-oh. Everything is going AD's way. He is in that zone and scoring at a terrific pace. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Irving. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> well, he, he's got a point, David. And we thank you for your report. And it's the Clippers with the ball. They trail by 16. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Morris. Leonard inside. Shot clock at five. From deep, George. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. 
And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Only given up two points this quarter. Russell with a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Clippers trail by 16. And since 1999, the Clippers and the Lakers have shared their downtown LA arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue, but that's going to change soon. Lakers in the ball around now. Shock up two there. With a gentle touch inside. Russell really improving as a finisher. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds that time. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Now, here is Russell. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Pass to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt with the screen. And another shot. Out to Russell. James with it. Westbrook picks him up. To the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. You can't afford to leave anyone open on LeBron James team because you know what? He has proven he will find it. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. And if they want to come back in this game, yeah, they got to clean up those mistakes. James in the post. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. Back to Schroeder. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Inglewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. And they're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. And the Clippers call time here. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. And the Clippers call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat.
And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Now Leonard, that will be five points in the game. And there's the eight-second call as they can't get it across half court in time. And the Clippers call time here. Fourteen left here in the second. Pass to Schroeder. To the paint. A nice shot there by Bamba. Bamba's got his second basket. And the closer to the basket Bamba is, the more effective he is. Outstanding at using his size inside. Here's Vanderbilt. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Oh, wow! That is powerful. Boy, that has to be a relief. Ending a 14-0 run by the Lakers. And the shot's good from Vanderbilt. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks. LeBron outside. And that's an intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And the Clippers call time here. LeBron James. And that one misses. I think everybody knows how good LeBron James is. But the thing that makes it remarkable is the longevity of his talent. And he is still leading the way for his team. Now, here's Westbrook. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the Clippers call time here.
And the Clippers call time here. And he hasn't gotten anything to go. You can see the frustration mounting as a result. His team, not in great shape either. That'll be a five-second call. Lakers ball. Here are the Lakers with the ball. What a stretch they've got going here. 17-2. James with it. Oh, look out! Goodness. Look out! Wow. Okay, I see you. Okay, wow. Old man LeBron James getting acrobatic, putting on a show. I see you.